All right, so welcome to a Mouse on Aura video, and today we made a tier list, and yeah, I posted it on my content thing. The only thing I changed was this one right here, which I'll explain in a minute. But anyway, I'm breeding this based off the armor, the fight itself, and also, you know, <laughs> overall kind of atmosphere of it. Anyway, I put Zor Magnus in freaking useless because he sucks. He, his fight takes 20 minutes. And yeah, I don't want to be there all day. And the funny thing is, even with cheats, you cannot kill this thing in under 5 minutes. <laughs> Zor Magnus is really that scripted. Even Ars Tevra 1 is scripted like that too. But yeah. We're Nerd Gigante is down here because one. He, one, he's probably the most bullyable monster. And two, you only farm him because of great spirit vein gems. The fact that you encounter this dude at Master Mech 100, and if title updates didn't exist, then this, then he would have been like up here. No, actually, he'll be like slightly above Kulturov. The heal, yeah, he'll be above Kulturov if it was up there. But there's no purpose of like, even fighting him. Unless you're doing that one event quest, Oath of Destruction, where you just get a ton of spirit, great spirit veins. Shard's mm -hmm. Water is okay. Uh, I don't really have that much to say about it. It's another one of those scripted fights. You can't just kill it. But yeah, it's okay. The armor's pretty good. But the ar armor's pretty good before you get to tight up and stuff. But yeah, that's about it. It's not annoying at all either. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to skip the Munashra. Annoying fight, completely useless, but really good cosmetics. Uh, Kushala is kind of like on the borderline of almost useless. His armor is ugly, his arm skills suck, and his fight sucks. Actually, I'm going to move you down here because I don't like Kushala. In my, in my opinion, I don't like Kushala. But you can use him for some of the builds. Uh, Volhazak is here because of his armor. The, the fight itself is kind of C tier with the um, <clears throat> with the health drain. But yeah, same thing goes with this one. But this one's a lot better, in my opinion. It's not as annoying. Well, it's annoying, but not to the level of this, especially Arch Tempered. Uh, Tiastra is kind of basic. It's basic Fire Lion. Uh, really okay armor. Good for blast stuff. Whatever. Uh, I'll put this up here because at the time you fight him, he's pretty good. He's pretty decent to me. And also his Gamma armor is pretty good too. Karen armor is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, really, really good. Um, farming armor and capture armor as well. Also has really good armor skills, especially Gamma. Behemoth, I don't like the fight, but his, but his, um, hmm, his armor and his Weapon is so much, is so good. Like I can't even put him above this. He, this is the highest he'll go up to. But I wish he was balanced in extreme because extreme he's kind of bad. Volcana is also down here because of um base Volcana is kind of mid. It's good, good armor skills too. Um, regular Xenojiva is right here because of just being Xenojiva. Also has really good armor. Now, Arch Temper 1, Arch Temper 1 is a whole different level because it's way better than the normal one. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, Namiya would have been higher if the. if before pre Alcheon. Yeah. Pre before. Hold on. N Namiya would have been better if. Um, raw damage was so good. So. The thing about Namiel, her ar his armor skill is just elemental acceleration or true elemental acceleration, which just increases your elemental damage, which is really good against this if you ever want to farm. You want to farm me? Don't have any good elemental armor. So yeah, he's pretty good. Um, Kovtov is kind of grindy. Offers the best elemental weapons in the game. I think the first time I beat Alchemon, I used these two. Or I used these two sets. Which I used um, the Namiya set plus a uh, Call of Sorov weapon. Yeah, Call of Sorov weapon, especially the um, the ice and fire weapons are pretty good. Safi is down here as well, but Safi is in this tier of his own. The Fatalis. Alatreon. Alatreon is almost busted, but um, this is the fact that he fell off after when Fatalis came out. Also, even if he wasn't busted, 
Safi Jeeva would have took over. Safi Jeeva's armor skill is way too good. Uh, Arch Tempered Volcana. Well, this Volcana is pretty good. It's one of the rivals towards these two armors right here, in my opinion, because Frostcraft is so OP on like certain weapons. I don't know which weapons, but it's really good. I use it with Great Sword. It's really good. And these two. These two can be interchangeable. They're pretty much kind of the same. Well, they're not really the same. Two Dragon Rain Awakenings for damage. And this is for customized. It's for customizable stuff. So yeah, um, that's all for the tier list. That's all I wanted to explain about. And I'll see you next time.